quick camera tutorial, nothing crazy, something basic. You guys see my edits here. Most of it is like majority just camera movement, like all in one motion in it. So I'm gonna try to do that real quick. So basically, I'm gonna start off with like a little tech so I can just, you know, move something about. Cool, so basically, how we started off, right? Layer, new camera. Uh, I got these settings here. I don't know if I've ever changed these in my life, I can't lie. But yeah, that's the camera settings. Cool. So in order to make the layers move to the camera, you need to make sure you press this button right here. The 3D layer button, make sure you press that. All right, so what this means is if you move the camera or anything, it moves in it. But we're not moving the camera itself. We're going to assign a null object to the camera. So this is how we're going to move the camera, okay? So as you can see, if we parent the camera to the null using this squiggly line thing, and then we also make the null a 3D object, if we go to either position or orientation, it will move as well. You see that? Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. So how am I going to start this off? Right? I'm going to start off with position. I'm going to start off really, really zoomed in. Uh, like maybe like here. And I'm going to also do rotation. Like this kind of. Uh, obviously, if you know the hotkeys to position and rotation, P is for position, R is for orientation. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to keyframe like that with my first audio uh, marker. And I'm gonna um, just go out a little bit, maybe like this much, turn it out a bit like this. Cool. All right. So what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna take the keyframes and move to the next, the next marker. This is because we want constant movement, and I'll show you how we're gonna make it peak at the first audio cue. So we're gonna highlight all the keyframes, F9, go to the graph editor right here. I uh, usually, if you go to here, you'll see this. I right, some confusing stuff. Right click, press speed graph. Cool. Highlight all of it and make it bring off like these yellow dots together. So like it peaks at where you want it to peak. For example, I want to peak over here. Alright. Um obviously watch it, see if it looks good. I'm gonna put it in cool just in case. Don't my computer crash or anything. Alright, so actually wait. What I actually want to do is I want to have it start off. Wait, no, never mind. I want it have to move out on the first one. So I'm gonna do that again, but I'm gonna get like do this. So it's gonna go quick and ease out into the first one, like so. You see that? Quick, easy. Right. So in order to have the second movement, we're gonna add another null layer, another one, like this. We're gonna link the first null to the second null, like so. Make that 3D as well. And look at this. So if I make this position and think, as you can see, I'm starting off the keyframes uh, at the peak of the first one below it. So I'm gonna go to the second one, like I just said before, like so. And I'm gonna make it zoom out a bit more, like so. And then gonna only change the rotation a little bit like that like that f9 go to the peak adjust it uh like like this all right so let's see how this looks like you see that cool i always use these things um I, one because I think it looks cool and second of all it shows that it's a 3D space and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second so basically I'm going to make this 3D as well because of the screen I'm going to zoom out alright so what I'm going to do I'm going to move this around and then this is where all the 3D components come in so the third axis here is a Z axis yeah obviously X Along the X, the Y, and last one is Z. So what the Z does, it, if you increase the value, it pushes it back because it is further on the Z scale. 
the Z axis even. If you pull it towards you, you're going lower in the position vector in it. So you see that. So what I want to do is uh, I want to have a bunch of these along the Z axis. So we, when the camera pans out, you'll see them all move differently. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to, let's say start off this one, I'm going to make it go really far behind like this. Move it around a little bit. Um, make it a bit smaller, like 35. Yeah, yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to make each one have a different value on the z-axis. So as you can see, if we play this back, you see what I, what I mean. You see that? They all, it doesn't move like it's a scale. It moves like it's actually in the 3D, you know, pulling out the camera. I'm going to add another null to add some more movement. I'm going to cut off here with Control shift d Link it, 3D, position. Keyframe it here, go to the next audio. And I'm going to go up with like this. So, what I'm going to do here, right? I'm going to change scenes. But I'm going to, it's all going to be one scene, but it could look like it's a different scene. So I'm going to do this. Keyframe. Peek up. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so over here, what I'm gonna do, if I was already added a bunch of clouds that I want to use, so for example, I'm gonna use maybe this one here, drag that in like so. So I like to use these as like, kind of like a separator because the next scene I'm gonna use has a bunch of clouds in it. So. I'm gonna make that 3D. I'm gonna bring this over here. So this is where, so you can't see it here as you can see. When you go up, you'll go through that. So I'm gonna have it like over here maybe, if that's cool. That should be fine. I should bring it up a little bit. Perfect. Move it to the side like this. Cool, 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 nice, nice, nice. All right, so now I'll add my next scene here. So this is where the camera is. Next scene, all right, cool, I'll just add my things here. All right, so I got um, a sky I wanna use. Uh, let's also make this 3D. Let's bring it up to where it's no longer visible, so like here kind of. And I'm gonna make that kind of fade in by putting in like a mask over like so. Make that full screen. Let's make the mask feather a bit like that. Perfect. Move it down a bit so it blends with the cloud. Nice. Nice. Also, actually. I need to move this really far back, like so, really far back, because I don't want anything touching this. I got this, I don't know how to put it, alright cool, I got a picture of Poochie over here, I'm going to drag in, make that 3D as well. So when you get 3D, obviously you'll go out of the camera, you're going to try and find it. I like to put this really far back as well, maybe like 2,500. I'll add kind of most of them, add cloud one. Uh, this is quite ugly, so I'm going to add a tint. Try to add it all white, there we go. 3D, bring it up so you can see it. Let's have this one quite far back. Quite far back, but quite big. Because we're gonna have it seem like there's a lot of clouds in the area and it's 3D, so when we go through it, we'll see it. 
eyes and I kind of overkill added like um, added like what nine clouds but yeah anyway so these are all if I look at all the positions here you see that these are all at different positions on the Z axis which means that if you see when I if you see when I go up through this you see each cloud move at a different pace because they are so far or close to the camera that the way it moves it makes sense all right so i'll add another position or null here where i want it to move in through the clouds and towards Pucci. so i'm going to add another null to the peak of the previous one link it like so 3d position i might add rotation i don't know so i'll just keep it in mind go to the next i'm going to zoom in if you see if i can if i as you can see, if I zoom through these, it's like I'm moving through the clouds. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Gives it a pretty cool effect. I like this one right here. Also, I want to move Pucci up a little bit. Alright, so if we watch it back here. Actually, I want it to be less. And then maybe I want it to go in a little bit more. All right, so I put it to like 4.2K. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. So, but I want something to still be covering Pucci, okay? So I'm gonna put it like this. Let's move it back a little bit. If you can see, if I watch it back, remove the one cloud that it phases through so it should be right here try and find which one it is this one so what we're going to do is we're going to have changed the opacity from 100 to when it phases through it should be zero uh, I can't lie to you guys here my PC has crashed maybe like two or three times now but yeah, so look, this is what I look at the end in it of the other few things. So yeah, pretty simple. You know, it is camera pans out twice, goes up, goes in. All because of one camera and four nulls, we are able to move the composition around. Pretty cool. So yeah, um, can't lie. Obviously, I don't do much tutorial, so this probably isn't the best, most efficient, or even the most like descriptive thing you've seen in your life. But hopefully, it helps in it. Hopefully, it helps a little bit. Do you guys know how like it like it works, like the basis, the construction of it? So yeah. Um, you guys want to see more? Actually, I'll put the project file in the description as well. You guys can see how it works in it. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, man, comment down below as well. What else you want to see? If you, if you do want to see more, but yeah.